Thank you. This is totally different from what they did before. I don't know if you're lying. So how are you doing today? Good. Good. I uh, have a uh, bamboo fork, and I know that uh, might be a problem for some people to not know how to run for security. So I notified them that there's a bamboo fork in here, and then I've been in another building with it, and then I've got more business in other government buildings for you today. Okay. But uh, I went through this problem with just this other building. Now where did it go? Bamboo, my bamboo silverware that I, I carry with me so that I have sustainable food containers, uh, food carrying equipment. It's not going to come in to the shop. Okay, so can you show me the ISO 9000 uh, no, document that is no, HSS? You cannot record in this building. I am recording in a public you space. You cannot record here. in this building. Yeah. Uh, is there a constitutional uh, requirement that remo removes me from... Uh, Videotaping journalistically protecting myself and my civil constitutional rights. The paperwork will tell you that you cannot record in this building. And if you decide that you will refuse to abide by that. In courtrooms and clerks' offices. So this is a hallway. This is not an audio. At the bottom two okay, so let's, uh, let's look at this. In hallways, clerks' offices, and public areas of the building other than the courtrooms, electronic devices may be used as long as such use is not disruptive to court proceedings. The prohibition against sound and photographic recording of any person extends to all areas of the buildings unless specifically permitted by a judicial officer or building security personnel. Media members of the media desiring access to the courthouse with cameras or other recording devices shall be required to present a valid media credential or other valid photo identification with a business card at the security checkpoint. With a valid media credential, cameras shall be permitted and may be used only in the main buildings of the courthouses. Okay. Public area access to records and information, Court Rule 2, Chapter 38, governing expanded media coverage still applies as cameras are not allowed in courtrooms without the express consent of the courts. That is a website published, denvercountycourt.org, photography and recording, 11-13-18. So um, I'm here because I'm here to acquire records, and this is not an ISO 9000 this document. Is this is a hallway, this is and this is actually a security entrance a where I am being interacted with supervisors yes. because I have bamboo silverware, and I am recording for my own safety and production, constitutionally protecting myself from seizure of items that are my personal property. So, can you provide me an HSS security or other document that shows that plastic or, uh, or wood silverware is not allowed in the building so that I may uh, file or accordingly, uh, appropriately? And Mr. Fraser, I'm not here to cause a disturbance. I'm simply turning on. Well, I'll gladly shut off my recorder outside of the camera scope where I'm at currently with the camera behind you, which is in the camera's uh, uh, visibility. I'm not here to photograph or record inside the building. Again, I'm just protecting myself and my property during the entrance and through a security or uh, police detention, uh, whether you're private or public security, attempting to take my property from me is a violation of my constitutional rights without just cause. And I do not have a document that says that wooden silverware are not allowed in the building. So I'll be glad to shut off my recorder and do my business 
when I am permitted to pass. Um, this gentleman won't turn off his camera and won't leave the building. So I, I requested to come in the building, announced when I walked in the door that I have bamboo silverware on me. HSS security protocol document dated 11, 2018, denies metal forks into the building. I announced it that I had it on my possession before I went through the security gate, pulled out my camera to protect myself from having my property taken from me unlawfully in, vi in violation of the Constitution. I am here to do business. We are on a camera right now, and I am recording at the security checkpoint for my protection. I am willing to shut off my camera once I verify clearly that wooden silverware is not a violation or security risk. They have the rules for what can come in this building. Right. right. This building. right. So something you have can be brought in here. You have to take it out off the property. So with I it. just left the web building with my silverware, and I'll gladly go into the courthouse with my silverware as well. Something I do on a daily basis. Well, not daily, but I'll say weekly to be honest about it. So the idea that I have silverware on me that I announced it to people that I'm not familiar with to let them know that I had it on me so they weren't thrown off by any potential weapons concerns, uh, but that I have a right to carry my silverware to eat with uh, where I go. It's the same as my water bottle that I carry with me to drink with. So um, I'm requesting entry for, for, for legal purposes to obtain records and documents. Uh, I have business in this building with the city of Denver, and um, I'm requesting evidence of a document that uh, tells that I cannot have wooden or plastic silverware on me. Sure. So I have bamboo. Do you have the document that proves that? I don't have to provide you with documentation. There is an HSS security protocol document that indicates what is and is not allowed in the building. It is not posted publicly. I don't have to provide you with So what you're telling me is that you're denying me access to the building for carrying items that are not public, publicly posted. It's not publicly posted anywhere, and you cannot show me a document that says that I'm not allowed to have my eating utensils with me. Okay. I won my case to carry my medical marijuana in any government building because it is, it is the law that I am allowed that prescription medication. And your training should have updated you that because of the city's attorney's office's information that they provided in the month of November to all personnel. I am carrying silverware to eat with and you don't have documentation to say that I cannot come in. So you gentlemen have said that if there's a, if there's material that I'm not allowed to carry in, that I shouldn't carry it in. And I'll agree with you that for public safety, there are probably things that I shouldn't carry in. For some reason, I'm not allowed to carry a gun in here, but you are. And I respect that. Obviously, uh, the gun would have gone off if I had carried one in, and I would be as easily uh, weaponed as you are. But I'm here not to fight with guns, just with words. My silverware is my right to carry to eat. Right? There is no document that you have, so I don't understand why you gentlemen would prevent me from entering the building. Gladly willing to shut off my camera and my recorder, which I have on for my protection at the entrance in the security checkpoint because I'm being denied either access to the government, which I have a constitutional access to, or I'm being denied access because of my property and t theft of my property, which the Constitution protects me from. You have nothing posted that says that plastic or wooden silverware is not allowed. They have not produced that to document. So I do not understand why you would pr prohibit me from entering and using the government services today. They don't have enough room to put all the stuff on there that they can't. They have a booklet uh, attached to them, and there is an ISO document that is HSS security that has been approved per their contract dated uh, 11 of 2018. That document, which I have on my camera uh, footage of because I had to see it in the other bu building next door, includes things like Sharpies and markers that are not allowed in, like firearms. It is a available document that is supposed to be at this station. And if they cannot produce it, they obviously could contact their supervisors at HSS to produce the document that it allows or what is not allowed into this building. It's that simple. I'm here to get 
uh, items that were previously ordered that I have money to pay for, records requests. I have bamboo silverware on me, right? Nobody's asked to see it, but but there is not a document. Bottom line is they're not allowing it. You're not talking in the building. So can I have your ID number, please? Badge numbers and names, gentlemen, please. Thirteen forty-seven. Thirteen forty. I'm sorry. One two three four. And your name, sir. Phillips. Officer Phillips. And your name, sir. Loya. Miss uh, Officer Loya. And your badge number. Thirteen forty-seven. Okay. I will be filing and following up further on this. My constitutional rights are being violated, and this private entity is violating those as much as my public servants are. So I will be leaving this building. Okay? I am recording just to make sure that we are clear that since I'm on camera, right, I am going to use this camera, and I have not given up my rights in any way, shape, or form as a journalist or a member of the society. Thank you. You too. You guys are dismissed. No, I, I, I thank you. You're my paycheck, sir. You have a wonderful day, sir. I appreciate your kindness. So there you have it, folks. We're losing these battles.